Desert Edge. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Tuesday, April 14th. We're your anchors. I'm Audie. And I'm Adam. And you're watching Scorpion Game Day. Juniors, if you signed up for the Northern Arizona University bus trip on April 29th, the payment of $25 is due tomorrow to secure your place on the trip. There are still a couple spots as well. Do you enjoy K-pop music? Then come to the Korean Culture and Entertainment Club in Mr. Mason's room, A15, every Wednesday. If you are considering a career in cosmetology, uh, auto body repair, healthcare, computer support, or construction trades, Maricopa Skills Center can prepare you for these occupations and more. Visit the representative in the cafeteria at lunch today. Don't forget there is a wholesome meeting right after school today in the library. Now let's go to Jose with an interview with Sydney McLeod. Thanks, Adi. I'm here with Sydney McLeod, one of the pitchers for the softball team. Sydney, your record is 21 and 2. Derek, what's your strategy to get that type of record? Um, I think as a team, we just go out there with a bang and execute what we need to do. Fairfax is 15 and 6. What is your challenge against them tonight? I think our challenge is we don't, we just go out there and execute what we need to do and scoring runs each inning. And more things, Sydney. What is your prediction for tonight's game? As a team, our goal is to be in and out in five innings, so I think it's going to be 10 after 5. Thanks, Sydney. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jose. Now we're here with the girls softball head coach, Miss Nancy. <laughs> Miss Nancy, how has the season been so far? The season has gone well so far this year. Uh, we are currently 21 and 2, and we are 12 and 0 in PowerPoint games, uh, which currently has us slated as the number seven team in Division Two. <laughs> what is the biggest difference between this season and last season? Uh, the biggest difference is just that the girls are having fun this year. Uh, we have 18 members on this year's varsity squad, um, and it seems like a different girl comes through for us each time we have a new hero each game. Um, there's really a team feel about this team. Um, they come out here every day just to have fun and get better and, and enjoy what they're doing. Miss Nancy, what is your biggest challenge ahead? Um, I'd say the biggest challenge ahead is that three of our six remaining games are against uh, top five PowerPoint schools. Um, this Thursday we have a home game against Verado, which is for the section championship. Um, so that's one of our preseason goals going in is that we're looking to get that section championship. Um, and then we also play Prescott and Boulder Creek later on in the season. Nice. What were the team's goals going into this season? Uh, the biggest goal was to finish um, in the top eight in PowerPoints on April 30th when the seedings come out. Um, so. Uh, hashtag the road to eight has kind of been our slogan at each of our practices um, and that's what we work towards every day is to be in the top eight because that'll give us a first round bye and a second round home game going into playoffs. What should we expect from tonight's game against Betty Fairfax? Uh, tonight's matchup will be a good one. Uh, they're coming in 15 and 6, um, but our girls are going to focus again on our game. Um, we've been an offensive powerhouse all year long, so we're looking to continue that um, and then shut them down defensively and with our strong pitching. So we're hoping to get another W to improve in our power points. Thanks, Miss Nancy, and thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. I wanna hold them like they do in Texas, please Fold them, let them hit me, raise it, baby, stay with me I